Hello, we're here at the AQS Quilt Week in Des Moines, Iowa, and I'm here with Ann Miller from Council Bluffs, Iowa. And Ann has entered the contest for the very first time, very correct? Very first time. And was that kind of suspenseful after you entered that quilt? It was very suspenseful after I entered the quilt. And so what, what did it feel like when you got the letter that said your quilt had been juried in? I was so excited. I was, I was so excited. And then trying to get the okay from Judy Niemeyer to it to for the entry right that was a whole nother thing because she hadn't sent it to me yet oh <laughs> well she's usually really good about answering those inquiries <laughs> you know what that's a really good way for her to promote her business that's what so i hoped she she does give us permission to have people show their quilts and of course you know the whole thing with that is she owns the copyright and so she really gets to determine where a derivative which a quilt would be uh, where it gets shown in public. And so that's the whole purpose of getting that permission. Oh, really? Yes. Well, let's nice talk you. about your beautiful quilt. And you know, these are my colors, <laughs> the purples and the blues and the teals. Uh, you know, well, you can tell <laughs> I wear these colors. Uh, and so tell us about the pattern first. The pattern is called Weeping Willow and it has been discontinued several years ago. Um, but I just fell in love with it and then I started collecting because it uses uh, jelly rolls. And I started, every time I'd see a jelly roll that had purples in it, I'd buy it. Okay. Uh, I have no idea how many jelly rolls I bought for this quilt. <laughs> <laughs> well, and so this is a lot of paper piecing. So did you do it in stages? I did do it in stages. Uh, it took me about two years to finish the quilt. And then it took the quilter, uh, Michael Kraft, it took him a year to do it. To do the he, he said the same thing, he'd get bored and have to set it aside a little bit. And that's kind of what I had to do too. Because well, it's big. <laughs> yeah, it, it is a big quilt, but it would be gorgeous on a bed, wouldn't mm -hmm. it? Oh my gosh. I mean, I can see it dropping down over the edge where you see that on the edge as well as across the top of the quilt. That's why I made it so, uh, so big. I have a queen size bed. Uh, and uh, two walls in my bedroom are this color right here. The purple. Oh my, this has to be stunning in your bedroom then. I haven't tried it on the bed yet. You haven't? <laughs> okay. Well, we're glad that you entered it and that you shared it here with the people who come to AQS Quilt Week. It's and been fun. Do you have another quilt in the works that you... I, I am doing something totally different uh, that I plan to enter, hopefully, if he can get it quilted. Next year, I'm doing a, a Dresden plate that is very, very vintage. Vintage, so well, that'll be totally different than this, <laughs> totally, won't totally it? Totally different. Totally different. <laughs> well, do you know what? That's one of the benefits of being a quilter is you can pick different styles and, and that way you don't get bored. And that's true, and that's one of the things I like to do is different techniques. Mm -hmm. uh, I choose a technique and go for that, and uh, I've actually entered, the, uh, this was my second paper piecing quilt to enter in a quilt show. The other one went to Shipshawana, Indiana. Okay. And so, and I was excited when that was juried to get to go. All right, well, so. I can't wait to see your next quilt. <laughs> And we hope that you'll enter your quilts in the AQS Quilt Week contest. The 2023 rules are available at AmericanQuilter.com. Just click on the shows and contests and find that contest button and the rules and the entry form is all there. You can enter it by filling out a form and sending it in or you can do it all online. Did you do it online? I did it online. Okay, and we hope that we'll see you at an AQS Quilt Week soon.